Stan Jibalisco here. I am going to explain and illustrate the functioning of a simple trimmer capacitor, also known as a padder or padding capacitor, which is used in conjunction with a variable capacitor to trim its range, to adjust its range so that it's precisely what you want. It, it always has a very small value with respect to the capacitor that it's trimming. This illustration comes from Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, sixth edition, published by McGraw-Hill in June 2016, authored originally by me and contributed to by Simon Monk, who provided a chapter on microcontrollers and a chapter on the Arduino device which is a great contribution over and above previous editions. But for this edition, the old-fashioned trimmer capacitor is the subject of discussion. It appears as figure 11-8 on page 195 of this book. A trimmer capacitor is really nothing more than a sort of a low-value variable capacitor. Uh, there are two plates, usually only two. Sometimes they may be stacked alternately uh, with solid dielectric between them. There may be, for example, um, four plates and well, one, two, three, three plates and two solid dielectric layers. The solid dielectric is usually something like mica. Uh, and uh, I showed that solid dielectric as just floating in free space here, but actually it should be anchored down to something, probably extends all the way to an anchor here, or some something that will keep it midway between the top metal plate and the bottom metal plate. The top one down here and the bottom one up here, right? A plastic adjusting screw passes through a hole that goes through everything here into a non-conductive base. The two contacts of the capacitor are right here. And the adjusting screw just simply presses these plates closer together or releases them and allows them to go farther apart. Uh, somewhat springy metal material here. And the dielectric just serves to keep uh, the two plates from ever shorting out. Uh, really, you could probably get by without the dielectric, provided that you had some means of ensuring that these two plates never shorted out. They have relatively small surface area. Uh, the spacing between them, as I said, can be varied, and that's what varies the capacitance. Smaller spacing means more capacitance maybe three or four or five, six picofarads, up to 10 picofarads possibly, and the widest spacing, maybe only a couple of picofarads, and you can connect that in parallel with a variable or trimmer capacitor, either one of the two, to fine tune a circuit to get it to exactly the capacitance that you want. Uh, trimmer capacitors or patter capacitors are commonly found in conjunction with um, other types of capacitors uh, that have small value variable capacitors and uh, as I showed you just a little while ago but it'll probably appear later in the sequence of this uh, section of videos uh, this is a uh, for example, a mica capacitor, uh, which can be a fixed capacitor or any other small value fixed capacitor. You can t fine tune its adjusting uh, its value by trimming it with this device. Typically has a high operating voltage. The dielectric has a high uh, voltage so it can withstand a lot of voltage and uh, once you've got that thing set to provide just the range you want for the main capacitor, you should be able to never never have to touch it again. 
Uh, in any case, don't touch it with high voltage applied, or you will get a lesson that Stan Jabalisco has learned several times, despite having authored a book such as Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 6th edition, published by McGraw-Hill, available at Amazon.com, new or used, BarnesandNoble.com, Google.com, and you can probably get it on the pirated websites too as an electronic copy, but I always recommend the paper-bound version for two reasons. Number one, the paper-bound version has been carefully edited and you, you, you are sure to get the genuine product of the authors this way. Electronically, not necessarily so. And secondly, with a paperback book this large, in excess of, well, how many pages is the bloody thing anyway? 740 some pages. You can knock a person unconscious with it, if they're not unconscious already, from boredom by listening to Stan Jibalisco, who shall now sign off and say good night, have a good week, have a good year, have a good life and so long.